Optimization is a type of problem that's really just an application of using your minimums and maximums that you've done plenty of times throughout the class. But they're usually word problems and can be a bit trickier. So in an optimization problem, there's always something you're trying to minimize or maximize. So what you always want to do is come up with an equation for that thing. So for example, if I was trying to maximize the area of an, a rectangle, I could write a equals x, y, where x and y are the dimensions of the rectangle, and that would be an equation for my area, and I would want to maximize that. However, x and y are two different variables, and I would not be able to do that right now because I have two different variables. And if this is the case in your optimization problem, when you make the equation that you're trying to maximize or minimize, and it has multiple variables, there's more information in the problem that would allow you to have a constraint formula. So for example, in my example here, I'm trying to maximize the area of a rectangle with that has um, <coughs> excuse me, that has dimensions x and y. If I knew that my dimensions added together had to be 10, you can see here by using this constraint so I'm constraining x and y that their sum has to be 10. I can solve for one of my variables, plug it in here, and I will only have one, which will make my derivative work out very nicely. So if I solve for y and plug it in for this y, I get a equals x times 10 minus x, which is negative x squared plus 10x. Now, to maximize negative x squared plus 10x, that's very simple because to maximize, all I would need to do is take the derivative and set it equal to 0. I can already see that this is going to be an inverted parabola, so it's going to have one maximum, and that's going to be its only critical number. So a prime, negative 2x plus 10, and I always want to set that equal to 0 if I'm trying to maximize it, like in this case. So here I would get x equals 5. And from x equals 5, I could plug it back into here to get y equals 5. So if I knew that the sum of my two dimensions of my rectangle had to be 10 and I wanted the biggest area possible, I would have to make both dimensions 5, in other words, make it a square. So there's going to be a variety of problems that they could give you with optimization uh, involving cost and your economic quantities, cost, revenue, profit. There could be plenty of other geometric shapes or three-dimensional geometric shapes where you have to work with cylinders, uh, cubes, spheres, or cones. So basically what it boils down is to is always get an equation that is equal to some the thing that you're trying to maximize or minimize. That should always be pretty straightforward. The next part is if that thing, if that equation has more than one variable, you need something else that will let you substitute. Once you substitute, it's just a matter of doing the derivative. It could be a more complex function than this, but the derivative should always be the easy part of this problem, setting it equal to zero and solving your equation.